Hey guys, so this has been one of the most requested integration tutorials uh, and is actually one of the easiest ones. So this is covering the ballistics effects pack and integrating it into the multiplayer survival game template. So first thing you need to do is in your project you need to do some project settings before you actually migrate content. Uh, so you can find this information in the documentation for ballistics effects. So if we go in here and you scroll down it will tell you how to do this. And the first thing we need to do is actually grab this file here. Uh, so I've already got that here and we've got a couple of things in there we want to use so we've got it comes with five INI files we only need collision physics and rendering now if you've done custom project settings under those categories you will need to work them into this new setup uh, because we're going to override it with this so once you've got those extract them out I've got them here in my tutorial source folder I'm going to go into project settings, go to uh, collision, click on import and then import that collision file. So there, it'll look like nothing's happened but it has done and we just need to close out. I think even just changing tabs will probably do it. No, nope, we need to close out but I'll show you that in a sec. So under collision then we do physics and then we do rendering. Um, also, apologies if the um, audio is a little bit odd. I've got a new headset, so I haven't really done too much testing on that yet. We'll see how it goes. So if we close that and then we open up project settings again and we go back into collision, you can see it's actually done that. Uh, so once you've done that, you can actually close the project now. And what we want to do is migrate the content over. Now I've found that migrating ballistics effects using Unreal Engine's migrate function doesn't actually work. It misses a whole lot of textures for some reason and then you get some missing textures on your decals. So what I'm going to do is just go copy and paste this ballistics VFX folder from the content of the ballistics project over into the content of the survival game project. And once that's done shouldn't take too long you can open up your project again now the first time you do this it's going to take quite a long time um, just because of the huge amount of uh, art assets with textures and decals and materials and all that that it needs to open and then also compile once it is open I think it took around about 10 minutes when I was trying this out for the first time but it shouldn't be too long now because I've already done it, it's all okay. cached. So it's only the first time you do it, and if you were to clear your engine cache as well, then it would need to do it at a subsequent time. But it shouldn't take too long this time around, hopefully, otherwise I will cut away from the video and come back. But yeah, there we go, it's gone pretty quick. Um, it might need to do some compiling of shaders. No, it doesn't look like it, okay. So we're gonna open up the map just in case it needs to do anything in there. Because um, this is obviously where we will be testing it. And what we want to do is a couple of things. First of all, we want to jump into Blueprints, Components, and then open the Inventory Manager. Once that is open, we do not need that one there. We want to go to the Fire Weapon function. So this tutorial will be covering integrating ballistics effects into the default weapons that are included in the template, so the shotgun and the machine gun and all that sort of thing. And it does it on a um, like high level so that you just implement it once and it works with any weapons that are generated using the data table. I will be doing another tutorial integrating both this pack and Easy Ballistics together and that should get some nice results. But I wanted to get this done separately so that people who aren't looking at using Easy Ballistics or projectile weapons or whatever can just use the included weapon set. So I'm going to give myself a bit of room here. I'm right at the end of the um, function on the bottom there. So this is where we do our ray tracers. And I'm just going to move this over so I've got a bit of room. And I'm going to delete this draw decal because um, Ballistics effects control like handles all the decal spawning, so we don't need the included one that I made in the template. Once we've done that, off of true, we're going to drag over and we're going to do spawn actor from class. I'm just going to place that over here and we're going to make this click on the select class and find qubit impact FX spawner. And that'll just take a second to load all of that. So these are all the settings we can set up on the, that on the effect spawner. Um, we're just going to cover the basics here. 
I would recommend playing around with them, especially if you are using projectile weapons with the ricoch uh, ricochets and all that sort of thing. But we're just going to work with the basics here. So what we want to do is first of all drag, grab this out hit here and collect, connect that up to the hit result. And if I can get that to actually work it would be better. Uh, off a of spawn transform we want to drag off and do make transform. And we want to use the location from the hit result here. And then we want to get the normal, drag off and go rotation from x vector. So what that does is the normal is the vector that's perpendicular to the location impact. So if it hits, say this is the surface it hits, the normal will be up here. So we turn that into a rotation and use that for our rotation. Um, from there, I think that might actually be it. We want to give it an impact speed. Um, we're using hit scan weapons, so we're going to use a fast impact speed. We're going to give it, say, 50,000. You'll need to play around with the settings and work out what is best for you. And we want to give a decal life, just because zero means, like it says here, zero equals immortal, which means they're going to build up and eventually um, end up consuming quite a lot of memory. So we're just going to set it to, say, 15. So after 15 seconds, the decals will disappear. And that's all we need. We do want to make sure we connect this back up. Um, like I said, I would recommend you mess around with all these. The example project that Blissix uh, FX comes with has all of these set up and is a good learning resource, but that's all we're going to do to uh, work from here. So with that, we can compile and save, and that's actually all the integration done. So we'll just set up a couple of materials for the purpose of testing. So first of all, we'll click on our landscape, and like with the footprints setup, we've only got a single layer landscape here. So we're just going to give it a single physical material, and we're going to make that dirt. Uh, actually, I'll we'll make it grass. There. And we'll add in a couple of other surfaces just for the purpose of making sure that it works. Just make these all two. Drag them down so they're a bit easier to walk on. And let's just do four. So we've got four surfaces there. Now we could just add on a physics material and not worry about the material, the visual material, but that's not as good. So what we will do is we'll make a single material so you can see how to do this. Now this is more documentation of the ballistics effects, but whatever. So we'll just call this M material and we're just going to give this a color. Let's make it a red, not an orange. That'll do. And we just want to click on the material node or click off either way as long as this isn't selected. We can actually set the physics material here. So we're going to use flesh because this is a red material. <clears throat> and we'll just save that. So obviously this is the most basic sort of material you can get. You can make this as complicated as you want. This is what controls the um, ballistics effects result though. So once we've done that, we can apply that to our material to our surface. And then we're going to go into ballistics VFX folder, go into demo map and materials. And there's actually quite a lot of materials here from the demo project. So let's grab this one and let's use. Let's do one that is concrete tiles. Let's see if we can get a couple of different ones, like very different. One that's lava, that's pretty different to what we've got. And then the other one can be wood. So we've got grass on the landscape. We've got flesh on this one here, concrete, lava, which doesn't seem to be loading. Maybe we'll pick a different one. Um, how about fabric. Oh, it just loaded. Let's go back to lava then. Lava's cooler. Um, and this one here is wood. So then the only other thing we need to make sure we do is that we actually have some projectiles. I'm going to pull this apple out of here. Because I'm going to turn this apple into some ammo as is customary in these tutorials. We're going to give ourselves a couple of ammos just to make sure we've got plenty to experiment with. And we click new editor or run the game. Go over, pick up our 
round and our weapon, equip our weapon, and then you can see we've already got an effect going on here. We've got the decals, we've got a little indent, and we've got some particle effects happening. Oh, forgot to set the amount of ammo. 25 on both of those, and let's do that again. Equip our weapon. There we go, we got some flesh, and you can see the blood splatter landing. So when you shoot, the blood goes up and lands. Like that. And on this one, concrete, and yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear, but it's got actual sounds for it as well. Over here. Lava, bullets are like burning up into ash, and then wood. So that's how you get this integrated. Like I said, I will be doing a much more in-depth tutorial that will cover setting up the template with easy ballistics and with ballistics effects. Um, and I think I might even put in the blue, the footprints, so it's all in one together and be a really nice. Um, result that'll give a lot of like interactivity to the world and surfaces but that's how you get started with this one so thank you very much for watching if you have any feedback or questions please leave them in the comments below and if you have any requests or suggestions for other integration tutorials please by all means let me know i want to get as many done as i can um, but it's a lot better for me to get ones done that you guys actually want so cheers